Brother Cliff again. Uh, another question and answer time. Uh, tonight, I don't really have a question. I just wanted to deal with a subject matter that's very important. Uh, this week especially, Saturday being uh, Christmas Day. And I want to talk about the perfect gift for a little bit, if I may. In the Gospel of John, chapter 4 and verse 10, Jesus was talking and he said this. He said, if you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. And we know that this is an incident where Jesus is at the well. The Samaritan woman is there with him and, and he, he is actually leading her to faith, uh, uh, sharing with her uh the living water himself as being her savior. But in this statement, he said, if you knew the gift, and that's my concern tonight as a pastor and more especially as a Christian. How many people really know the gift? Know the gift. Jesus said, if you only knew the gift, you would ask for living water. And that that's pertinent, I believe, for us to talk about today because Christmas is a time when people tend to forget uh, really and truly what it's all about and uh, why we celebrate it, why it's important to us, uh, especially as Christians. In Romans chapter 5, let me read something for us in verse 15 and following. But it, it says this in verse 15, But the free gift is not like the offense, for if by one man's offense many died, much more the grace of God and the gift by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, abounded to many. And the gift is not like unto which, uh, like that which came through the one who sinned. For the judgments which came from one offense resulted in condemnation. But the free gift which came from many offenses resulted in justification. For if by one man's offense death reign through one, much more, listen, much more those who receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. So, see, uh, I just wanted to share with you, and we done talked about this in a, in a session a while back, but uh, as one sin, we all sin. As one died for us, and that being Jesus, we can all be saved, okay? But notice here what uh, the apostle is saying. He says, In this free gift which came by many offenses resulted in justification. And you know that word is a big word, but at Christmas time it's important to me because Jesus came, he was born, he lived 33 and a half years about it on this earth. And then he was crucified and killed on the cross. And his blood was shed that I might be justified. And that word justified means just like I've never sinned. In other words, the blood of Jesus, the Bible says, cleanses us from all sin. So Christmas is not just about a babe in a manger, but it's about God's free gift of grace. If you only knew that that free gift would change your life for eternity, that's what the apostle is saying here, that through this one, this man, Jesus Christ, we all come to be able to be justified. And then he says that, that uh, we can be not only that, but we can get the gift of righteousness. Uh, the right life that we live is a righteous life. And a righteous life is the one that God provides through Jesus. The Bible tells us that we, we are not righteous in ourselves, but we put on the righteousness of Christ. And it makes us one of the beloved, okay? So as we look at that, I got one other verse. What is the, what is the perfect gift at Christmas? It is truly what Romans 6.23 says. It says, both things that I've done been talking about, for the wages of sin is death. And we know that's the condemnation of sin in our life. But that free gift of, of God's grace but the gift of God is salvation through Christ Jesus, our Lord, okay? So see, the perfect gift at Christmas to celebrate is not a new car or a diamond ring or a new bicycle or new clothes. The perfect gift is to celebrate Jesus, and in him we have life everlasting. Anyone who comes to Christ will not be ashamed. 
they will not be disappointed because he says, come unto me and I will give you rest. And he's talking about eternal rest there. He's talking about life everlasting. The little woman at the well was confused about it. She didn't know all about salvation, but he went on and shared with her. And she said, she finally came to the place that she believed. And you know, that's something that's special. So I pray you have a Merry Christmas, but I pray that it will be because of the perfect gift. And it is Jesus, okay? So God bless you. We love you. Merry Christmas.